very good evening to you from me. It's uh, around about 25 past eight in the evening here in the UK. Um, but a very warm welcome to you all, wherever you are in the world. We're going to look at the eight hands that uh, most of you have been playing this evening. We've got one or two, I think, that haven't actually played them, but nevertheless, they're interested in what could have been done. Uh, I got various messages while they're going on. These are very tough. Well, let's see if you think they're very tough um, once we sort of uh, uh, get into them. OK, uh, board one is on your screen. And uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, then address them to the table so that everybody can see what the question is, or what the comment is. And I uh, will do my best to answer it. Uh, we don't have Alan. I'm not sure whether we've got Jeff with us tonight or not, but uh, um, we don't have Alan with us tonight. But we will uh, we will deal with your queries as best we can. All right, board one, uh, no opposition bidding. Um, uh, the bidding actually goes one down, starting with east after a pass from north. Uh, Jeff is not very well. Oh, dear, Linda. OK, well, wish him all the best from all of us. Thank you very much for letting me know. Oh, dear. What's the matter with him? I think it's something serious. Full of cold. Uh, not too much whiskey, then. OK. He's up in the north of Scotland, so I'm not surprised it's bloody cold up there. Right. Here we go, then. Anyway, the bidding, one diamond, one spade, two spades, three no trumps, four spades. So West is going to play this in four spades. So we'll just pass it round to West. There's no opposition bidding. Four spades by West. And uh, we are told that the uh, the lead is uh, two of clubs, I believe. Yeah, two of clubs. There we go. South contributes the queen. Now, what have we got? Well, if the spades behave reasonably, if they're three two then uh, it looks like we're just going to lose one spade, one heart, and, uh, and then we're going to make a lot of diamonds, you know. So we really should be looking at what we can do if the spades are 4-1. Um, can we do, can we cope with that? Well, yes, we can. We can, uh, we can cash two spades and then play on the diamonds. And even if the spades are 4-1, all the opposition will be able to make would be two spades and a heart. So let's uh, let's put that to the test. So uh, uh, we've won that with the ace. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to do this first this way, just to see, uh, just to point out something in a moment. That queen of spades looks a little ominous, but we'll play a second spade anyway. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to leave the spades alone, because if we uh, if we try and if you play another spade, South will draw them and then they'll cash three more clubs. So we're not going to do that. We're going to switch to diamonds now, and we'll keep playing diamonds until he roughs. Does it help him not to rough? Not really. So, uh, well, he can continue the club attack. But the tempo is still with Declara. He plays another diamond, roughs again. Um, Now, another club. All the diamonds, of course, are good now. Right. So uh, we'll play another club. And now we'll play the Queen of Diamonds and throw our losing club away. Oh, 
and we can keep playing diamonds and we'll finish up with 11 tricks. All we've lost is two. The opposition could have cashed their heart earlier if they'd have wanted to. Let's put the board back up to the table. And there's a reason why I want to do this. Oh, I'll go back and save it in a moment, Sanya. Sorry, I was a little bit too late reading that. Well, I can save it both ways. It's not a problem. Um, we got the same contract again. Let's just uh, uh, pass, pass, pass four spades. It may surprise you to know, in fact, that we can make an over trick. If we start off with a low spade to dummy's king. And we read that spade, that queen of spades as a single turn. No, south can... has to jump in with his 10 because otherwise we'll simply finesse the 8 and now we're going to do the same thing again but sadly can only make a heart and a spade now that's a, we can definitely make the over trick and the way we've played it before south could have cashed the ace of hearts and then uh, um, well restricted choice uh, Doug says that uh, that queen is more likely, twice as likely to be a singleton as to be from Queen Jack Doubleton. And it has to be from one or the other. So if you're not familiar with the principle of restricted choice, look it up. Uh, in principle, really, what it's really saying is that it's more likely that North didn't have a choice rather than he ex exercised it in a particular way. Half the time he would have played the Jack if he had the Queen and the Jack. Uh, it's two to one against him having the other honour. So we would now treat that queen as a singleton because the only other card he can have sensibly would be the jack. And restricted choice says it's twice as likely that he won't have it. Do we all know about restricted choice? Mm. No, we didn't give up uh, control. No, we haven't. We're going, to, we're going to carry on playing diamonds now, as we did in the first play. And in fact, we can play a heart next and rough a heart and then play a spade to the eight. And we can, we can make up a heart uh, uh, and we can make an over trick for sure, because he's only got one spade winner. South can't play space without uh, we give him that one, then he will make two more tricks. He can make the seven and the spade. But if we don't do that, we play a heart instead. What can South do? If he plays Jack on another spade, all the diamonds are good. And if he plays a club, we can rough it and um, drop out. And we've still got the diamond entry. Play a club. Oh, no, we don't want to do that, do we? Play a heart instead. Whoops. We're still going to finish up losing two two more tricks, aren't we? Still, no, still can't make it up, do No, I think we can uh, 
Doug, but I'm not sure of the line. I'm, I'm, and the, I'm going to save it like this, and then I'll go back and claim it again, as we did on the first set. Let me just put it back to the table because I didn't save it before. I will have a look at it later and see if, well, see how we can make an over trip. Right, so we get the lead of a club again. And this time we're going to cash two two spades. And now we're going to play on diamonds. And we're going to keep playing diamonds until South roughs and South can take his and cash his ace of hearts if he wants to, because otherwise they could all disappear. Won't help him to play anything different, even a club. We're still going to carry on playing diamonds. And we still got a trump left to look after the uh, and declare has got the rest of the trick, so we'll claim that one as well. There we go. Oh no, I claimed it wrong. Oh dear, I'm not going to go back. We should have made we should have made the rest of the tricks. Right, we're going to move on. To, do you have any questions or comments on board one? No worries, Sanya. Yeah, sorry. Right. Let's go to board two. Export this to the table. Now, uh, this uh, this caused quite a little bit of controversy when it was played. Uh, the auction is going to be one spade, three spades, six spades. So East is going to play this in six spades. And we'll let you decide if you think this is too difficult. Right, the leader of the Queen of Clubs. Okay. And the tables are I watched, played it very well as declarer. They won the club, they drew two rounds of spades. That would be the trumps gone. No trumps left in the opposition's hand. So now they cash two diamonds to eliminate that suit. Okay, so they've eliminated the diamonds, so they've eliminated the spades. And now we're going to end play south with a club. in the hope that he'll have to give play a heart from a favourable heart position or give us a rough and discard. And the staff that I watched appreciated that a diamond was going to be a rough and discard. He's quite right, it was. And he led the three of hearts. And now declare a 
is making the contract because he can now finesse the Ten of Hearts to give him his 12th trick. But let's just go back a trick. Right, so South is on lead now with the Jack of Clubs. And South should argue like this. He knows that a diamond is a rough and discard. And he knows too that Declarer hasn't got any more clubs. So he's, what he's trying to do is to avoid Declarer making three hearts. Now, if Declarer has got the Queen of Hearts in addition to the Ace, then nothing South can do. So he has to assume that his partner has got the Queen. Otherwise, there is no chance. But if he stops to think about it, let's see what would happen if we play the Three of Hearts and declare a place the Eight. Then North is going to have to play the Queen. We've got the Jack Nine ourselves as South. So that's not going to work. We're going to be left with a finesse position. And the same if we lead the Nine of Hearts. Declare we can put the Ten on. North puts the Queen on, but now there's a finesse against the Jack. But if we think about it, because we've got the Nine, let's see what happens if we play the Jack of Hearts. If Declarer wins that in hand, then all he can do is hope that South got the Queen and the Jack and is being deceptive. He has to take the finesse because the Queen's not dropping. He's going to go one down. And if he wins it on the table, there is no line that will give him two more heart tricks. So leading the jack of hearts in that end play position will defeat the contract. Yes, exactly, uh, Douglas. Um, anybody that, but I don't think that's too difficult once you center on the fact that you need your partner to have the queen. Now you need to think a little bit further because you've got the jack and the nine yourself. If Declarer plays the eight, then this contract is making. Because South has the jack and the nine, Mikiko. He can see that the eight, if Declarer plays it, will force the queen from his partner, assuming that he's got it. And now there will be a finesse position against the jack. That's not too difficult to think about, I don't think. Once you appreciate that you need partner to have the queen, the rest should follow if you think about it just a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to claim this as one off now because that's what it's going to be if South gets the defence right. And the South I watched did give the comment afterwards, well, it was either a rough and discard or a heart. Yes, that was true. But which heart was critical? OK, so then, any more questions or comments on board two, please? Yes, South, Jack and Nine are very significant cards. He needs partner to have the Queen. You should better work out that leading the jack will be good enough. Declare a wins in king and dummy. If he plays the eight, his partner plays low and you make the jack or the nine. You make the nine rather. Right yeah. no, it's not really a surround play. No, uh, Glynis, no. It's, it belongs to that sort of family, I think. But no, I wouldn't call it a surround play. OK, we'll move on to board three. to the table. And South is going to play in six no trumps. And again, there's no opposition bidding, so we'll just bid six no trumps as South. Now, at least one declarer got this right. And I don't think this is difficult at all. I'd be quite disappointed if my partner didn't get this right. But, and, uh, Anyway, let's have a look at it. And uh, the lead we get is the Eight of Clubs, second from a bad suit. 
as you can see, it doesn't give anything away. What have we got? We've got four spade tricks. We've got four club tricks. That's eight. We've got two diamond tricks is 10 and a heart is 11. And we have, in fact, two chances of making a 12th trick. We can take the heart finesse. And if that's successful, we'll have 12 tricks. And the other chance is we can take the diamond finesse. In other words, we can lead a small diamond towards the jack. Well, which should we do first? Well, it doesn't take a genius to work out that if we take the heart finesse and it loses, we can no longer lead a small diamond towards the jack because whoever's got the queen is going to win it and that's going to be one off. But we can do it the other way around. We can appreciate that if the jack of diamonds is well placed, if east has the queen, we lead small towards the jack, that will be our 12th trick. And if the jack of diamonds loses to west, well, we can still take the heart finesse. So effectively, we've got two chances, roughly 75%, 50% for each one. Queen, my queen of diamonds might be with east, or the king of hearts might be with east. And we need one of those two to be right. It won't help us to cash black suit winners first. Might put off the evil day, but the opposition won't be in any difficulty with discards. So what I would do, I would play the Queen of Clubs at trick one. And I will play a little diamond. Now, if, South, if East plays low, my jack wins, and now I've got all the tricks I need. I can even take the heart finesse for a possible over trick. But more likely, East will go up with the Queen of Diamonds. And he'll know that switching to a club won't be any good. His partner led the eight. He'll switch to a heart. But Declarer doesn't need that finesse anymore. He's made two tricks. He's got four more trade tricks. Is six and two diamond. Three diamonds now is nine, and three more clubs brings his total up to twelve. So. We are going to claim our 12 tricks. So it's simply a matter of deciding which of those two chances we have once we recognize that we have both those chances. A small diamond towards the jack will give us a third diamond trick any time East has got the queen, or a heart finesse to the small heart to the queen. But we can't do that in the other order. If we take the heart for nurse first and it loses, it's too late to uh, try a small diamond towards the queen. If we play a diamond towards the jack and that loses to west queen, then we still have time to take the heart for nurse. So we will make it as long as East has got one of those two cards, the king of hearts or the queen of diamonds. And that's roughly 75%. Okay. Do we have any questions or comments on board three? Come on, don't be shy. Okay, All right. we will move on to board four. Do you think these are too difficult? Do you think that's too difficult? Right. Here is board And again, I think this is probably the most difficult one in the set. But uh, North opens a no trump after a pass and his partner raises him to three. No opposition bidding. Oh, not West. Pass. Three no trumps by North. There we go. And we get the lead of the Queen of Clubs. This doesn't look like a very comfortable contract, does it? 
I'm not fitting in anything. Well, we could try the, uh, uh, the small diamond towards the jack, but would that help us? We've got two spade tricks. We've got two club tricks is four. Even if the diamond play was successful, that would still only make it seven. We would still lead at least two hearts to make nine. But if we can make two hearts, we can probably make more than two. So really, the question is, how do we tackle the hearts to give ourselves the best chance of making enough tricks? Well, we're going to need East to have the ace. But would it help us for him to have the ace and the queen? If we lead the jack, he puts the queen on our king, wins. But mm, no, that's not going to be good enough, is it? What we need is for East to have the ace, either singleton or doubleton. And can we all see that? Because that's going to be the only way, assuming that the clubs are not breaking, because we don't expect the clubs to be breaking when we get the club lead. We can't afford to duck the club. Wait and see what happens next. Puts us a tempo behind. We've got to decide. Now, as it happens, we've got all the suits guarded twice, even the clubs. Yes, I know I was watching one table that went down quite a lot. I don't know how the others made it. Um, maybe the opposition helped, maybe they didn't. But let's have a look. We're going to take the first club because we really can't afford to duck it. But now we have a question of how do we get to hand to play the hearts? Well, in fact, we can get to get to hand with either spades or diamonds, but we'll play a diamond. You never know, the queen might drop in two. It's always a possibility. Now we're going to play a heart. Won't really help East to jump up with the ace. Our king wins. And now we're going to duck a heart. We're hoping that he's got ace double turn. And when he does, well, now we're going to be, even if this hand switches to a diamond, it won't help. We will win and we'll knock out the queen of hearts. Let's say the diamond looks like the best bet for the opposition, leading a club. He hasn't got another entry anyway, so let's see what happens if we play a diamond. Now, the defence have taken two tricks and West can cash two more diamonds. But that's his lot, because Declarer can now cash two spade tricks, two heart tricks, and the ace of clubs. So the whole secret to this hand, let's just claim the contract, whole secret to this hand was realising that we needed East to have ace, doubleton, heart. No other heart combination would, ace, queen, doubleton would be even better, but uh, ace, doubleton is good enough. I hope we can all see that. Playing on any other suit, ducking the club to start with won't work. He will continue with another one. And he won't continue with a third one because now the South can set up another one. He still have a heart entry but if he switches to heart. Um, then his declare is going to go well off, as indeed he did. <coughs> okay, that's board four. Do we have any... Uh, any questions or comments on board four? I think that's probably uh, any more advice on seeing to duck the heart back. I think you've got to see that to start with, Douglas. You've got to work out that even if even if we uh, uh, play a diamond for the jack and it's successful, 
that will give us three diamonds and two clubs and two spades. We still need at least two heart tricks. So if we're gonna if we can make two heart tricks, we can probably make three. Um, but I think it's essential that uh, we realise that ace doubleton heart with east is by far our best chance. And if that's the case, then we don't need to pay the diamonds as in what I suggested. We're simply going to win um, the club, cross the hand with a diamond or a spade, it won't matter which, and play the hearts. And if the opposition win the second heart and continue with spades, well, that will knock the spade out. But now Declare has still got enough tricks. He's going to make three heart tricks and, uh, and two spades and two diamonds and two clubs. That's going to be his nine tricks. But I think that's tricky to see. Um, that requires quite a bit of, uh, of looking forward and working out what you need for this uh, somewhat unlikely contract to succeed. And as far as I can tell, Ace Doubleton Heart is the only thing that will satisfy it. Apart from Ace Queen Doubleton, that would do just as well. <clears throat> yeah, Ace Queen X, of course, he'd get his club set up before we could set up a heart trick. No more questions. We will move on to board five. This is quite a complicated uh, auction and it is contested, so we're going, we're going to give you all of it. There it goes one heart. Us from east, two clubs from south, two diamonds, uh, two spades from west, three diamonds from north, showing his two suitor, three spades from east. I haven't got much, but I do have spades, and my heart's looking nice. Four clubs from south. I got really nice clubs, partner. Four spades from east, from west. And five clubs from north ends the auction. A little bit surprising that nobody doubled this, but uh, there we go. And the lead that we get is the king of spades. Okay. Right, now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six club tricks and uh, and two diamond tricks is eight. Well, the diamond finesse would be uh, would be helpful, but uh, can we do any better than that? We're going to make at least one spade rough in dummy. So six clubs, one spade rough is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If the diamond finesse was right, then uh, then we'd be home and dry, but it might not be. Can we do any better? Well, we're going to rough this first spade. Now, if we draw the trumps and take the diamond finesse, if it wins, we're going to be home and dry. But if it loses, they're going to cash two more spades. So that's not such a great idea. In fact, we can afford to lose a diamond, provided we lose it before we lose control of the spades. So that means we need to play a diamond, either the little diamond towards the jack, or the Ten of Diamonds to try and drop out and draw out the Queen. Either of those is good. It's a good idea. All right, but, you know, whichever one we try, it won't really matter. We'll lead the Jack. We'll lead the Four, rather. Now, if East plays low, your Jack will win. Now you can draw the Trumps, and all your Diamonds are good. 
or indeed your Jack will win and you can rough a club and uh, give them a heart. No, that won't do. Mm, no, no, you don't need to rough another spade. If the uh, if the diamond wins, we can simply draw the trumps and cash the rest of the diamonds. So, of course, it doesn't win. And he's not going to play a spade and let you rough it. He's going to take that trump out from dummy. And it won't help us to win that in dummy. We can't get back to hand by roughing a heart. So we can simply draw all the trumps now. We're throwing hearts from dummy. That's the trumps drawn. Way go two losers. It doesn't really matter whether we throw spades or a spade and a heart. And we will concede a spade at the end. So the whole principle really here is to set up our diamond suit while we could still got a club in dummy to rough another spade with. If we draw the trumps first, then we can't afford to lose the diamond. They'll cash another spade. Two more spades, in fact. Not to mention the ace of hearts. But by ducking, by playing a diamond towards our jack or leading the 10, whichever we want to do, we will set up four diamond tricks and they can't do anything else. Even if West has got the queen and switches to a heart, that'll be their only two tricks. We can still control the spades. There's a club left in dummy and we can rough the second heart and then draw the trumps. A sentinel trump, that's a good way of putting it, Malcolm, yes. Yes, I haven't heard that expression before, but it describes it admirably, yes, well done. Okay, do we have any more uh, questions or comments on uh, on board five? Usually we get quite a few questions, come on, where are they all tonight? Was that too hard, does anybody think? I know at least one table got it right. No comments. I'm explaining so well. Thank you, Douglas. Okay. Yeah. Well, when I explain it, yeah, it, you, a lot of people say, "Yeah, I should, I should be able to do that." And indeed, if you were to think like, uh, you know, "Oh, thank you, Alan. Good evening to you." Um, uh, Dimitri succeeded, says Alan. I didn't even know Alan had joined us. Says he. Yeah. Uh, where? Yeah, he's kibitzing at my table. Well, you're welcome to join the uh, the Zoom and come in with any comments, Alan, if you want to. Uh, right, we're going to move on to board six. Here we are when I can find board six. Here's board six. This is going to be three no trumps by East. Um, no opposition bidding, so we'll just do a three no trumps by East. And the lead is the four of spades. I personally would lead the seven of spades, second from a bad suit. But uh, uh, now, 
I know a couple of tables made this. I'm not sure how they made it, but uh, let's have a look at it. If we take the spade finesse at trick one, let's say we play the 10 and it wins, that would be great. But if North puts the queen on and plays a spade back, then what are we going to do? If we put the queen on, do we duck it? If we take it, we lose an entry to the clubs, or at least potentially so. Right. Do we need three spade tricks? Provided we can get to our hand, we can make one, two, three, four, five club tricks, even if we lose one. The ace of diamonds is six, a heart is seven, and two spades is nine. So we really need the spade entry more importantly than we need the spade trick, this extra spade trick. So what I think is right um, is to win the ace of spades and take the immediate club finesse. Let's have a look and see if that works. Well, South, South can't afford to duck it. Now, he can't play a diamond. That would be deadly. If he plays ace on another heart, well, Declare has got his nine tricks. If he plays another spade, well, the queen is now going to trump. Declare gets the best of both worlds because now he's got all his club tricks and he can still generate a heart trick. Let's see what happens. Let's assume another spade. Now, of course, he's got to cash his club tricks now because he can't get to uh, he can't get back to his hand if he doesn't. Well, we can throw one heart away. Now, it is actually possible for Declare still to make this. I'll come back to it in a moment. If he does play the low spade and North plays the Queen. And it's perfectly safe to play the heart. All they can cash is the ace of hearts. And uh, if he plays a spade now, well, he will give up a he will give up a diamond at the end. But he's going to make ten tricks, so we're going to play him our ten tricks. Uh, how do we make it if we do? Let's put the bone deal up out there. I'm not suggesting that anybody would get this at the table, but it, uh, well, only, only if he can get back to his hand, uh, Caroline. He needs an entry to get back to his hand. So, but yes, I mean, if as long as he keeps the king of spades, he can play ace king in another club. That won't affect it. He can still do exactly the same sort of thing. But, you know, if we can take the club finesse, the club finesse might work. But let's uh, let's give us this contract again. So he's in three no trumps. Right, and we're going to get the same lead. Only this time we will take it. Hmm. And now, now we've lost the entry to the clubs. 
all right but uh, we can in fact as long as we knock out the heart first right, he can play this So F continues with another spade, say. Now we're going to play the King of Hearts. And we're hoping that South has not got any hearts left after this one. And now we'll cash the Ace of Spades. And now, what can we do? Well, we don't take the finesse anymore. Uh, South can cash his two club trick, two spade tricks if he likes, but then he has to play a diamond, and that will give Declarer access to his clubs. Academic interest only, because I don't think uh, I don't think many people would find that line, even if they got the first spade. They might. I think they'd be more likely to take the club finesse. But thanks to Alan for pointing out to me that there was that possibility. Alan's very good at spotting things like that. Do we get any other questions or comments on uh, on board I, six? Actually, I missed something on this one, Colin. What was that, Alan? Apparently, because um, the correct defence was done by Dracula, who played, other people switched, which then made it indeed switch to clubs, uh, yes. even though it was run round to the Queen of Spades. So it looks as though, yes, you're going to take out the entry, but when you play off all the clubs, just a second... Um, when you're, you're, South gets squeezed either oh, out yeah. of his spade winner or to bear the king of diamonds or to uh, throw away his, his ace of hearts oh, right. that allows you to make the contract of course what South should do is bear the king of diamonds and dare early, early, East, yeah, yeah. dare East <laughs> to go and play across <laughs> to the ace of diamonds but he didn't, he threw a spade and so the contract made after all, but well done to Dracula for uh, playing the right thing so. Okay, well done Vlad, yeah indeed, yep. uh, Sanya's saying well done too, yeah well done, yeah thank you Alan, yeah, well okay done. Uh, any other comments or questions on board six okay, a little discussion with Alan uh, earlier about board two when, uh, when we should have played the jack of hearts to defeat the contract Alan thought the contract could still be made, but uh, no, he couldn't. If declare if if defender in the South Sea did switch to the Jack of Hearts on board two, then the contract was going off as we saw. We'll move on to board seven. And this is going to be four spade by West um, after uh, a non-contested auction. So we'll just bid four spades. There we go. And we get the lead, I should imagine, of the Jack of Diamonds. Hmm. Well, we'll try the Queen because it's our only chance of making a trick with it. But, uh, not to be. Okay, now we've got lots of, uh, well, what can we do? If the spades are 3-2, then what we're going to lose? We're going to lose a spade and a heart and a diamond. All right, so uh, not really a problem if the spades are 3-2. What if the spades are for one? Can we still do it? Well, possibly. 
I think we should draw one round of trumps anyway. Now, in fact, as you can see, I've just set up the double dummy analysis. If we play a second spade, we're going to go off. In fact, we're going to go two down if we play another spade. But uh, we can still make it. I'm going to take that away from you again. We can kind of start off by getting rid of this uh, diamond, hoping that the clubs stand up for three rounds, which is probably with the odds. We've got rid of the diamond. Now, funnily enough, the source that Alan uh, got these this hand from suggested that he now switches to hearts. And uh, let's see what happens if we switch to hearts at this point. North winds. Um plays uh, what? Well, he can play the he can play a spade, can't he? Because he's got his, all the good spades. Right now, we'll play another heart and get rid of one of these losers. Right, and what do we do next? It doesn't matter what we do next. We're going down now, Double Dummy says. And if we play a little heart and rough it. Now, if North over roughs, then we're back to making again, which is what I think the original uh, solution gave us. But if North doesn't over rough, instead he discards one of his diamonds. Now we can't make it. If we play a spade, if we play another heart, then uh, he can win that and draw the trump and cash in. He can he can always finish up with with one more trick. Okay, so that's going to be one down if we do that. And then we'll put the board back to the table. And this time, four spades again. We are not going to play on those hearts first. Jack of Diamonds lead, Queen again, we try, not successful. We cash one top spade. That 10 looks awfully nasty, doesn't it? We're going to get rid of the diamond just the same. Only this time, we're going to rough a diamond instead of playing on hearts. And now we'll play a heart. Does it, does it help North? Doesn't matter whether he takes it or not. If he takes it, natural thing for him to do is to play a spade now. He's got Queen Jack 9, the 10 is gone. And here's the difference. Declarer can still rough another diamond. Now the heart. And another heart. On which his club goes away. And it matters not if Declarer roughs it or not. If he roughs it, and he probably will. He can draw the trump. 
but West has still got one left. And West is going to make a rare example of the uh, of the book, I believe, that uh, Alan got some of these hands from, maybe with slight modifications here and there. Uh, it was actually faulty in its analysis. But well done to Alan for spotting it and for passing it on to us. So that was the secret. Rough the diamond before we switch to the hearts. And all the time we're guarding against the 4-1 break. If we cash two top spades and then find their 4-1, then we're dead before we start. I can comment here, Colin. Yeah, you, of course you can, Alan. You go ahead, yes. I was rather disappointed with the attempts on this. Um, if you look at the hands as it is, you see that you have a, a diamond loser, a heart loser, and one spade loser. And if the spades are breaking, only then is there a problem. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. For all that, you can't afford that many losers. And so the natural thing to do is to play the ace, king, queen of clubs and throw one of the losers away. Indeed. And the diamond, that is. And Indeed. then you think... Yeah. That now the problem is what exactly do I do? But no, no, no. Uh, everybody decided they should keep the diamond loser. One person ducked the first diamond. Oh dear. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> so you do have a diamond loser. One person won the ace and played the diamond back to make sure there was a diamond loser. And one person did at least switch to hearts, but of course they then play the diamond. And once they take the third diamond, you, you, well, can't, you can't do it. No, you can't. You can't a throw diamond three loser, hearts away loser, the two yeah. spade losers. So yeah. actually, although the erudite bit is what you've been going on about exactly, how do you finish off to make sure you're okay? Uh, I really should just try and encourage everybody: if you can throw away a loser, throw it away. It's yes. Yes, I mean, not only that, Alan, I mean, uh, uh, the, the, when we're missing seven clubs, as we are here, the most likely way for them to break is 4-3. So we will get the diamond away without anybody roughing it. That's not... Oh, Colin, uh, yeah. somebody's... Uh, the... Sanjay's suggesting they may not hear me on voice. Oh, no, 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 no. They can't. You'll what? have to repeat what I said. Well, yeah, well, sorry. What, what, yeah, yeah, Alan is talking to me on Zoom. Of course, you probably can't hear that on voice. Um, uh, can, can you hear Alan, uh, Sanya? You can hear him, I know, because you're on Zoom. But uh, those of you that uh, on voice can probably not hear Alan as well. What Alan is saying is that... Uh, it was critical to get rid of that diamond loser um, before you did anything else, because otherwise you've got four losers. If the spades break Brackley, you've got to lose a heart and a diamond and two spades. So uh, you needed to get rid of that diamond anyway. But one person ducked the first diamond, one person won the first diamond, but played one back. In both cases, make sure they got a diamond loser. And now there's no way you can throw three heart losers or four heart losers away on clubs. So, yeah. I don't know if people on on uh, can hear him on voice. I'm not sure. It was you could hardly hear it on voice, Caroline. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, ordinarily I'm not using a headset, but I am using a headset tonight. So it may be that Alan's voice coming out of my speakers when I'm using speakers, would go back in. So maybe we'll try that in the future. I'll we'll try and keep the headset off. But uh, um, there was a reason why I was using the headset. But that may be what it is. We're, I'm not going to try messing around with it now because it, it all goes haywire when I do. OK. Yeah, I think what's happening, Alan's voice comes through my speakers back into my microphone and then people can hear it. Yeah, I think that's what we'll experiment a bit more in future. OK. But that's what Alan was saying. You know, we needed to get rid of the diamond loser while we had the chance. And uh, the odds were that we could successfully get rid of it without suffering a rough. Yeah. And then we needed to think out what we were going to do uh, later on in the play. OK, thank you very much, Alan. We will move on to board eight if there's no more questions or comments on board seven. Uh, It doesn't want to find me board eight. Oh, there we go. Okay. Board eight with the penny one.
Now there is a, it is a competitive auction, so we'll we will have it. Uh, it goes one spade from uh, uh, no, it doesn't it? Goes past from west first, and then it goes one spade from north. Two hearts. Yes, well, I know. I know Jeff made it because it was he was given to him, uh, um, Sanya. I'll tell you how it was given to him in a moment. Um, uh, two hearts and South bids four spades. I think most people would be bidding three hearts. I've got a good race to three spades or better. But uh, this is the auction we were given, or maybe Alan curtailed a bit. He does that sometimes. Okay, but here's the. Uh, uh, here's the here's the thing. We're starting off with the two top hearts. Oh no! What, what undo? I've missed. Oh dear! It's south that's bidding four spades. Up west, try again. Thank you. Right now we do it again. Can't get the staff. I know. Yeah, thank you, Glennis. Right, we're going to start off with two top hearts. And West signals his even number. Right, so East is not going to continue with a uh, uh, with another heart because that would be a rough and discard. So but what one East did... He continued with the King of Clubs, despite the fact that he could see the Jack in Dummy, and despite the fact that almost certainly North would have the Ace. And difficult to construct a hand where North has got hasn't got the Ace of Clubs, but has got an opening bid. And his spades headed by the Jack, his diamonds headed by the King Jack, so he's got three, four, five, six. Only got seven points if he hasn't got the ace of clubs, but he opened the bidding. So switch to the king of clubs is not a good idea because that that's how uh, Jeff made 10 tricks. He, he wasn't pressed to make it. All right, let's assume that, uh, that East finds a, a sensible switch like a trump or a spade, uh, a trump or a diamond. So we're going to win. And we can play a second spade to draw the trumps. Now, bearing in mind that it was East that made the bid, it's not impossible that East has got King Queen of Clubs. And I think, in fact, that's going to be our only chance. So, well, we're going to eliminate the diamonds. Finishing in Declarer's hand, in the North hand. And now we're going to lead a low club. Well, each can see that he's got to take this, otherwise Declarer's got... Uh, and now what can he do? He can either lead a club away from the king and declare will make the jack and the ace, or he can present declare with a rough discard. Declare will discard a club in dummy and rough it in hand. So provided East has got both the king and the queen, then his failure to lead one didn't uh, didn't trouble Declarer as long as he played for it. Right? If West has got one of those honours, the king or the queen. And we can't do it. We don't have a chance. So we pay for the chance that we do get. And here, well, let's assume that he played that he he hopes against hope uh, that his partner's got the ace of clubs. He knows that the heart is a rough discard. So now we can make the rest of the tricks and that gives us our uh, our 10 tricks so all if we just count our tricks we've got five spade tricks three diamond tricks is eight the ace of clubs is nine no heart tricks we have to make two club tricks and the only way we can do that by force if the opposition don't 
lead them is to hope that East has both the king and the queen and leading towards the jack, having eliminated the red suits so that he can't exit with a diamond and wait for another club trick. We eliminate the diamonds first and he has this familiar choice. He either gives us a second club trick or he gives us a rough and discard. Okay. Colin? Yes, Alan, go ahead. You're not quite right in saying it's the only line. Oh, well, King Queen Doubleton would be would, would be good enough as well. Well, uh, and there's various holdings where, of course, you can't afford to un unblock the king. Yeah, yeah, like, for yeah. instance, Westhead, King Doubleton or Queen Doubleton. Yeah. yeah. So, and in fact, that's what Vlad played for. He stripped the hand correctly and played the ace and then small, oh, hoping oh, right. for... Oh, okay. Now, a 5-2 a break is 30%, but requiring the honour to be right as well. I, I, th I mean, Don't forget, king-queen on one side. Oh, did they open the bidding? Uh, well, no, he, he made an overcall. East made an overcall. The bidding uh, went one, right. okay. one, spade bid on two, hmm. one spade, two hearts. Now, it's okay. possi possible that someone's bid on ace-king to five. And king, In that king, case, king I think it me. lowers the odds, because if there's going to be a doubleton, it's with East. And Indeed. he will yeah. normally be able to unblock the king doubleton or queen exactly. doubleton when he sees the throwing coming. Exactly. So good try to Vlad, uh, but the other one. Uh, and the last person whose uh, name is escaping me in the moment, was it Sukrub? I can't remember. But, so, so uh, true, yeah. so uh, true, but so. no, 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 it was North playing it. Oh, um, no. and anyway, correctly stripped the hand. Uh, no, uh, correctly played the end play, but failed to strip the hand. So he did indeed lead towards the Jack of Clubs, but, then but then left he, a diamond exit in, in he, the other he, side. He's, he's could exit with a diamond and wait for his second club trick. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah so, yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, that was Jill, Gill. A G I L anyway. Uh, so uh, well done in seeing what you got to lead towards the chat, but you got to do your end play. You got to strip the size to. to you you got to stop the, the safe exits from the opposition. Exactly. Yes. Okay. I'm being paid for food here. Going to leave you, Colin. All right. All, all right, Alan. Well, we've finished the eight hands. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for your words of wisdom, and uh, we're delighted to have you with us. Thank you, Alan. Go off. Off you go and get something to eat and feed Peggy, and we'll see you later, maybe. Right. Okay, Alan's left us. Uh, do we have any more questions or comments on any of the eight hands that we've played uh, this evening? Alan will be back with you next week. I'm not sure whether there's squeeze hand or more of these sort of hands. I'm not sure, but Alan will let us know, no doubt. Okay, if we don't have any more, I'm going to stop the recording.